We haven't talked about Jordan Romano yet. And yes. I figure we should probably do that before the second episode of the podcast because that's exactly right. He has a uh, elbow injury, um, dealing with elbow inflammation, taking anti-inflammatory injections, and he'll be shut down, hoping to throw later this week. MRI showed no damage. A little concerning, especially because um, blanking on the name of their setup guy, Eric Swanson. Uh, Eric Swanson is also dealing with forearm tightness. Again, MRI came back fine. They could both be back by opening day, but we should probably talk about that Blue Jays bullpen. Yes. Yeah. Well, go uh, ahead, Scott. I mean, I don't plan to like tank Jordan Romano in my rankings. I'll yeah. probably move him to the end of his tier, like behind Andres Munoz, probably about where I have David Bednar, mm -hmm. who's. Also, we're not sure about his availability for opening day. MRI came back clean. It doesn't sound like a big injury. Could it put him on the IL to begin the year? I, I, there's a pretty good chance of that. Who would fill in for him if it's not Swanson? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Amy Garcia is Amy the Garcia, name. Garcia, yeah. That's... Amy Garcia and Chad Green were the two names thrown out there. So. Is Nate Pearson healthy? I, I think believe so. he is. And I read an article on MLB.com. They said, who would be the next pitchers up to just fill in bullpen roles, not mm -hmm. necessarily the closer role. And they mentioned Nate Pearson as a name that could be in the bullpen uh, if they have to fill those spots. I remember him, big time pitching prospect from a few years ago, has dealt with a lot of injuries. He's another guy, I think, who was working on a splitter earlier in spring training, has nine strikeouts and in seven innings so far this spring. So just a, just a name to keep an eye on. Yadier Rodriguez, I believe, has been uh, not throwing – this spring he's dealing with something so you know he was someone we thought might be in the closer conversation he made his first start the other day Chris. oh okay okay and, and are they treating him as a starter i think they're still yeah he okay. i think he threw two or three innings so uh yeah i mean yariel rodriguez is you know he's back he's healthy but you know if if Bowden francis is the fifth starter for the blue jays which that's what it sounds like right now mm -hmm. then maybe yariel yariel rodriguez can work his way into the back end of that. Yeah. I, I don't think there's going to be enough time for anybody to work their way into anything. Okay. It could always, it could, it could turn into a setback after setback thing for Romano. It could, yeah. but I don't imagine that happening. And like, I, I'd take a flyer on either of the twins guys over any blue Jays guy if yeah, I'm looking for, for saves. And, and I take a flyer over either of the Bre brewers guys over any of the twins guys. So yes, absolutely. Yeah. So I updated the rankings and I moved Jordan Romano down to around 140th and, and maybe that's too low, but I do think he's going to start on the IL and, and obviously there is risk for this to turn mm -hmm. into something much worse. So I'm going to play it safe with Romano. And I, I think I moved Yumi Garcia up to my, my 40th ranked reliever. And, and again, that is behind both the twins and brewers relievers that we've talked a lot about this week.